another mass shooting in the U.S. This time, it's July the 4th, Independence Day in the United States. A rooftop shooter opened fire with a high-power rifle at a parade in Highland Park, killing seven and injuring dozens. Leaders and activists are again demanding change. But ironically, the change has already come. Less than two weeks ago, U.S. President Joe Biden signed the most significant firearms legislation in nearly 30 years. Why didn't it stop the shooting? I hate to sound different, but July 4 mass shootings are not new. According to Gun Violence Archive, on July 4, 2020, a shooting caused eight casualties in Chicago. In 2021, another caused nine casualties in North Las Vegas. We can go on and on, because they happen almost on a yearly basis. But this year, the number of victims is way higher. And it happened right after a rare bipartisan effort in Congress to pass a bill on gun control. Well, this bill doesn't do everything I want. It does include actions I've long called for that are going to save lives. But it didn't save those in Highland Park, Illinois. What the bill does include are tougher background checks for buyers younger than 21, funding to encourage states to implement red flag laws to remove firearms from people considered a threat, and 15 billion US dollars in federal funding for mental health programs and school security upgrades. It's the best they've been able to do in several decades. But what the bill doesn't include are, first of all, a federal ban on assault weapons, regularly used in mass shootings, including this one in Highland Park. Such a move is widely opposed by Republicans. Currently, only 7 out of 50 states in the US have bans on assault weapons. The historic bill does raise the age for buying a semi-automatic rifle from 18 to 21 nationwide. But the suspect is 22, and according to local authorities, he did purchase the rifle legally. What is also not included is an expansion of background checks. Under the current requirements, gun dealers must wait three days for the results of federal background checks before they can sell a gun. But if it takes longer than three days, they don't have to wait and can proceed with the sale. Days do matter for a thorough background check. In the Highland Park shooter's case, several of his posts online reflected a desire to commit a carnage for a long time in advance, according to the city mayor. So what's stopping the nation from imposing stricter gun laws? One major reason lies in the National Rifle Association. The NIA lobbies heavily against all forms of gun control. According to the Trace, US gun manufacturers have netted some 3 billion US dollars since the pandemic began, and it was the most profitable years in their history. Despite the surge in mass shootings, the stakes are simply too high for the gun lobby to loosen its grip. Because of this gun culture, our nation uh, turned its back on us. I don't know how many more of these events need to occur. If this reflects the values of who we are, then what does that say about us as a nation? The governor of Illinois also said something similar. As a nation, we continue to allow these to happen. As the U.S. moves from one mass shooting to another, it's difficult to know when it wants or will find a way to end this vicious cycle.